3D unwrapping, one of the most divisive aspects of 3D. Some people love it, and everyone else, not so much. In this short little intro, those were all assets from the 3db asset library, but the twist here is that most of them were unwrapped inside Substance Painter. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Substance Painter's auto UVs feature and find out the answer to the age-old question, can we finally skip UV unwrapping? For our test here, We'll be taking three assets of varying levels of complexity from 3db and comparing the results of the auto UVs feature inside Painter with the original UVs of each asset. Then we'll texture them inside Painter and figure out whether or not this can be a feasible way of working for your projects. Before we get started though, let's first export our meshes. The easiest way to export the mesh without UVs is to select your mesh, go to export, click on OBJ, Make sure it's selection only, and then uncheck Include UVs, then click on Export. Now we can import the meshes into Substance Painter by clicking on File, New, select our mesh, and under Import Settings, we have a checkbox here for Auto Unwrap. If we click on Options, it'll bring up this window where we can choose how Painter will handle the Auto Unwrap. We have an option here called Recompute All, and that will basically ignore whatever pre-existing UVs we have on our mesh. In this case, I'll just leave everything as it is. Just give it a few seconds to unwrap and there's our mesh. For level 1, let's take a closer look at how the chopping board was unwrapped. It may be a simple mesh, but if we look at the UVs, it was unwrapped like this because in real life, the wood grains would follow along the edge like this. Let's try dragging in a wooden material here and as expected, it's going to look really warped because of the way Painter unwrapped the mesh. To get around this, we can switch the projection mode from UV projection to triplanar projection and gotta say, this doesn't look that bad. Although there are still going to be some stretching when you look at it up close, if it's going to be an asset in the background, it's not really all that noticeable. But for assets like this, where a pattern needs to follow a certain flow like for wood, and considering how easy it is to just add seams in the corner for a small asset like this, auto UVs aren't going to cut it. For level 2, we have a bedside table here with two materials, one for the body and one for the drawers. Now, if we look at the model, the wood grains flow along each panel like this, and if you were to unwrap this manually, you would need to make sure each side is laid out consistently like this so that when you do drag in your wood material, the wood grains would look correct. Let's just import the mesh into Painter with the default settings, give it a couple of seconds to unwrap, and here it is. Let's drag in some wood, turn off the high channel, and let's change the projection mode to triplanar projection. So far, so good. Now let's do the same thing for the drawers. But as you can see, it's not always going to look great. You have some really nasty looking stretching here by the corner, but we can fix this really easily. If we go back to Blender, here we have our original asset here with the UVs already done. If you go down here under Object Data Properties, under UV Maps, we can see our active UV map on our mesh. What we can do here is make sure that the body is selected and delete the UV map by clicking on this minus icon. For the drawers, let's keep the original UVs intact. Now we can export this mesh again, but this time we can turn on Include UVs. If we go back to Painter, under Edit, Project Configuration, let's select the mesh we just exported. And if you remember our options here, it's currently set to generate UVs only for missing data. That means when we re-import our mesh, it should keep the UVs for the drawers and also recompute the UVs for the body because there isn't any. Let's just click on OK and as you can see, the stretching is no longer there. Now we can go ahead and start texturing. Some parts of the mesh have the wood grains facing the wrong direction. A cool trick to get around this 
is to put our material inside a folder, right click, add the black mask, select everything, press X to invert the selection color, and click on the pieces with the wrong direction. Then we can duplicate the folder, right click on the mask, and click on invert mask. Now that we have those pieces masked, all we need to do is to rotate our material to 90 degrees and that should fix the problem. Another issue we have here is the wood grains might look uniform even though they're supposed to be separate pieces. An easy fix for that is to just offset the material a little bit. For the drawers, it's basically the same process. For the handles, just mask them out into their own folder and add in some random metal material and in almost no time at all, we have a fully textured bedside table. And finally, for level 3, we have a bed. For this mesh, let's try playing around with smart materials. Just dragged in some random fabric material and changed the relevant layers to triplanar. For the legs, I just masked them out and dragged in a wood smart material. Again, just changed the important layers to triplanar, and I rotated some of the layers so that the wood grains are vertical. Did the exact same thing for the bedding but I also added a fill layer on top with only the roughness channel on and set that to multiply so that I can control the roughness. Finally, dragged in the fabric material on the mattress, set up the triplanar projection, and scaled it up quite a bit, then changed the color to white. And just like that, we managed to texture a bed using mostly smart materials and it looks perfectly fine. Now going back to the topic of the video, can we finally skip UV unwrapping? The short answer is no. There are still a lot of really good reasons to spend some extra time to unwrap your models properly. But when the deadlines start piling up and you just need to texture something really quickly, auto UVs is a pretty nifty feature to have. And who knows, maybe one day, the answer to this video's title will be a resounding Yes. Anyway, if you learned something useful from this video or you want to see more content like this, feel free to like and subscribe. Until next time, see you around.